Basics here. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before I get into my review, I just want to say a special thanks to all of my new subscribers, all of the ladies who have been watching my channel, everybody who's been watching my channel, and I hope that you do enjoy the videos that I put out there. I noticed that my subscriber number has been climbing, so I'm very happy about that. I'm really proud and happy that you guys do like the videos that I put out. Um, I just wanted to give a special thanks for tuning in and supporting my channel. I really have a lot of fun doing this and it's good to see that, um, you know, there are some people out there who actually do enjoy watching the video. So that's a big bonus for me. And um, basically, yeah, I'm just going to keep it coming, keep coming with the different reviews. Very soon I'm going to be getting into doing tutorials. I just have to get my setup a little bit more organized so I can do that. But they are coming. And um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to be getting into the review today. And today we are going to be getting on to the hype that is so deserved by the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit palettes. All three of these bad boys are just life in general. When I first got these kits, I only got that glow because I thought that I wasn't going to bother getting any of the other ones. But after seeing all the hype and all the different swatches and all the different looks that ladies have been coming up with, I just had to jump on that boat and jump on to the Gleam one as well. And when I got this one, I thought maybe that it might have been a little bit too, um, I guess, bright for somebody of my skin complexion. Not true at all. All of these colors, especially in the Glow Kit, I find, sorry, in the Gleam Kit, I find that I use this one even more than the ones from that Glow Kit. These just pop on our skin tone and they mix so well together with all the other highlighters as well. So yeah, this one was a surprise for me. I didn't think I was going to get it, but after getting it, I find that I use it more. And then what did they do? They came out with this one. And um, Sun Dip is just beautiful. I thought it was going to be something scaled to more for lighter skin ladies. They actually came up with another one that serve us chocolate girls so well. So well. I just love this one. Since I got it, I have been using it to death. It's just been ridiculous. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to be getting into swatching on all three of these palettes, just comparing the textures, you know, see how they look against my skin tone. And my ladies of color, if you are not on any of these bad boys, you need to jump on them ASAP. Not even ASAP, STAT, because you are missing out. Summer is here and you need to get your glow on. All right, so without any more rambling. Okay, so one. first up is that glow. Here's the packaging, very beautiful packaging, the kind of, um, I guess you could call it like a peachy brown kind of color with the gold embroidered title there, with that glow in the title. And here are the pants. I mean, look at how beautiful these colors are. And please do excuse how dipped in they are. Like I said, I've been murdering these since I got them. Okay, so let's get into swatching. Alright, so the way that I've swatched these, I'm doing them in order of appearance, so I'm going to be doing... Um, sunburst, golden bronze, bubbly, and then dripping in gold in order of appearance of my arm, okay? All right, so here we go. Here are the swatches. And just to let you know, I actually did use the Anastasia A23 brush to do these swatches. This brush is honestly the truth when it comes to using these highlighters. I don't know what it is about it. It just picks up and lays down like a dream. So if you get a chance to grab this brush, you should. It actually it's worth the hype that it gets okay all right so first up so first up is sunburst that's it here with a finger swipe and that is the brush swatch right next to it I love this color it's really bright and really stark I mean I wouldn't use it on my full-on face alone I would mix this or just use this as an inner corner highlight color because it's just that beautiful I love it then next to it is bronze sorry golden bronze okay there's your finger swipe and there's your brush swatch next to it this one is just beautiful beautiful on all tan skin tones darker skin tones really deep skin tones this color is just saying it and it's really really buttery when it lays down it just spreads out perfectly it just looks like a sheet of gorgeousness across your cheekbone it looks amazing I love it and the last two colors have gotten the most hype. I think people were saying that um, they really do look similar. I mean, they do look similar, but when you really look at these colors, they're not. I find that this one here, which is dripping in gold. Sorry, my apologies. This first one here is bubbly. That's the finger swipe right there and the brush swatch right next to it. Okay. And the second one here, the last one, sorry, is dripping in gold. That's the finger swipe there. 
and the brush swatch right next to it, okay? Now what I find with these two, they are similar, but I find that bubbly to be a little more icy on the champagne um, side of things, and I find that dripping in gold to be more on the golden champagne side of things. So you do get two totally different hues here, and I find that uh, dripping in gold is a bit deeper than the other one, but they're both beautiful. They both look beautiful on the skin, and they are gorgeous colors. I just wanted to clarify the hype that both of these colors are exactly the same. They're not. Dripping in Gold has got a more golden tone, and Bubbly has a more icy champagne tone to it, but they're still both beautiful colors. So there they are. Swatched out for you. Aren't they gorgeous? Ah, I just love this. When I got this palette at first, like I said, I thought I wasn't gonna get any other ones. So wrong. And now I'm going to show you why. On to the second one. Okay, so next up is Gleam. This is the second one that I said I wasn't going to get, but who was I fooling? I'm a makeup junkie just like everybody else. Why wouldn't I get it? But anyway, here it is. And here are the pans. I mean, look at these colors. Ugh, gorgeousness all over the place. Okay, so now let's get into the swatches. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you the order that I'm going to be swatching them in. First up is going to be Hard Candy, then I'm going to do Mimosa, then Starburst, then Crushed Pearl. But what I find with both of these kits, I find that in that glow, the pen, the, the highlighters seem to be just a little bit more creamier than in that gleam. I, I'm thinking it's because, and I shouldn't say all of them, I find that just one, sorry, two of these shadows is a little bit coarser than the other two shadows in that gleam and then in the That Glow palette as well. I find that Mimosa and Crushed Pearl tend to be a little bit, a little bit grainier, not in a bad way. They still lay out beautifully on the skin. I just think that the glitter in these two are a little bit chunkier, so it gives it a little bit of a um, coarser texture. But I mean, they still lay out beautifully. I don't think that there's any um, difference in the formula as to how they look on the skin or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you my swatches now. Right. So now that I've kind of gotten that out of that little comparison out of the way, now I'm going to show you the swatches, okay? So here they are, just beautifully laid out on my arm. Same setup here again, finger swipe and your brush swatch next to it. So first up is Hard Candy, and there's your finger swatch right there. And then your brush swatch next to it. I just love the pink finish on this one. It's like, it's so much fun. I mean, even on a deeper, deeper skin tone, it's still gonna show up. I guess you can maybe use this to top off your blush, that kind of thing, because it just has this beautiful pink iridescence to it. It would look great on top of any blush, I think. And I think it would be beautiful for the summertime, especially when that glow just hits on the sunlight, girl. But anyway, yes, yeah, so that's hard candy. The second color up is Mimosa. This is actually my favorite, favorite highlight in this whole pan. And as I said to you, I thought that the colors in Gleam were going to be too stark for my skin tone. Love, love this color right here, Mimosa. There's your finger swatch right there and your brush swatch right next to it. It just, it, it has this almost like a rose gold slash champagne-y kind of finish to it. I just love it. I find that I use it way too much. I have to put it away so that I don't use it as much as I would like to, but it mixes beautifully and it goes on to the skin by itself beautifully as well. I just love it. Next up is gonna be Starburst. That's right here. You have your brush swatch right here and your finger swipe right next to it. This color, is um i would say this color is very much um more so on the peach side of things if you can see that there it's more of a peach color but when it goes onto the skin for me it looks more it doesn't come off as peach as i would like it to it comes off more like a very pale pink and i'm not a big fan of a very pale pink especially in a highlighter i find it looks too ashy at the end of the day so I, I really don't like that but mixing it it really does a good job i personally haven't mixed it yet but uh i think playing around with uh this color is is uh is justified it would probably mix on a fair skin tone a little bit better but um, it is a beautiful color just not one of my favorites in this particular palette and um, so last one up in this palette is crushed pearl this is another favorite that I thought I wasn't gonna be able to utilize as much as I have it just mixes so perfectly with um, the color in the first kit which is um, bronze 
bra golden bronze yeah crushed pearl and golden bronze together on a look just looks stunning stunning when you top off your nose or you top off your cheekbone or just in the corner of the eye it just looks beautiful together i don't know what it is with those two highlighters but when you use them in a look together they just look amazing i just love it and as i said it is a little bit of a more chunky feel than the other ones but no love lost here at all this is a beautiful beautiful color and i use it just as much so there are all four colors from the gleam palette gorgeousness I could look at my arm swatch all day <laughs> but I have to go to work so I can't let's get on to the third one okay and on to palette number three this is sun dipped and here she is I mean just look at the gorgeousness going on in this right now Are you kidding me yeah you can tell look how dented all four of them are I've been going ham anyway so all the colors on here I do hear what Norvina is saying in regards to how these ones lay out differently than in the other two palettes in the gleam and the glow palette these ones do go on uh, with more of a halo effect they don't go on as in your face of ah like when you put it on the brush you put it on there and, and you have to blend it out and then put on more to get it to pop out in your face like that these are more on the glowy side of things which I'm not mad at at all I think they go on beautifully they're all the texture of these are just as awesome as the texture in that glow palette and the gleam palette they're just as awesome but these ones tend to go on a little bit more, and I don't want to say sheer, but when you originally put them down, they're very, they just build up to this nice glow, nice glow until it's in your face highlight. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it does. And it, for me in this palette, um, all the colors are very buttery and soft. I think I would still compare them to the other two palettes uh, other than um, Crushed Pearl and uh, Mimosa in Gleam, they're all very, very buttery. I think they all have the same texture. I don't think that there's much change in the formula as, as in regards to how they feel uh, when you're picking it up for a swatch or laying it down on the skin. The only thing with this one in this pa uh, palette, I find that Tourmaline is the only one that is a little more on the chunky side and, and it feels a, just a tiny bit coarser and not in a bad way at all. When you touch that one and you touch the other ones, it's not like this huge difference. I find that it's just a touch bit coarser, but it happens to be my favorite color in the whole palette. It's a very unique color for a highlight. I like this taupey kind of champagne rose gold thing going on it's got all these different colors going on that i just love like all these different hues of these colors going on in this particular color here i cannot wait to use this as an eyeshadow but anyway here is sun dipped okay and i'm going to be dipping them in order of shimmer sorry bronzed summer moonstone and tourmaline okay okay so here are the swatches of sun dipped there's bronze. I actually want to see if bronze from the Sun Dip palette and golden bronze from that glow are the same. I know they're not going to be exactly the same, but how close they are in similarities with the colors. So when I'm done, I'm actually going to do a little swatch of those two side by side to see how they look beside each other. Anyway, so that's bronze right here. There's your finger swipe. And there's your brush swatch next to it. Right beside that is Summer. There's your finger swipe and your brush swatch right next to it. Love, love these two colors. I've actually mixed these two colors together and they just have this amazing finish when it's done. Oh my God, look, I have a product all over my fingers. But yeah, they look really nicely nice when you mix them together. I just love them. The third one is Tourmaline, which is right here. There's your finger swipe and your brush swatch right next to it. Like I said, this color is my favorite in the entire um uh, palette the sun dip palette is, is my favorite highlighter out of all of them i just love how unique it is i've already worn it a couple of times and uh yeah i really love it and the last color is moonstone there is your finger swipe and your brush swatch right next to it okay so i've gone ahead and swatched golden bronze from the that glow palette and bronzed from the Sun Dip palette side by side and true to form I've done a finger swatch and a brush swatch right next to it okay so there is golden bronze okay there is the finger swipe and the brush swatch right next to it and there is bronze finger swipe and a brush swatch next to it now for me 
Um, I find that golden bronze, let me go a little bit closer just so you can see, is a lot warmer than bronzed. I find this is, bronze is a lot cooler. They're both beautiful hues, gorgeous hues, but they, uh, I find that bronze is a lot cooler than golden bronze. And I do want to take back what I said before in regards to uh, the sun dipped palette going on uh, less, sh a little more sheer. It actually doesn't. It just goes on I don't know how to say it. Uh, when you put the color on and then you're spreading it out, it just it just has this effect that it's not as in your face. I mean, I find that all the palettes really um, move the same way. None of them are really different, but some reason Sun Dip, when you initially put it on, it just initially starts off with this glow and then you build it up. But it does go on just as smoothly as all the other palettes. I still do love it. There's no change really. So I, should, I misspoke before when I said that it's sheer than the other two. It's not. But yeah, there's golden bronze and bronzed. And these two are definitely two totally different hues. Like I said, bronzed is a lot cooler than golden bronze. But I love both of them. Love them. Okay, so that does it for my review for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. I love all three of them. I had a lot of fun doing this video because I just love highlighters. It's like a sickness. I mean, can you tell? Look at my face. I'm glowing right now, right? Okay. And I'm going to work. So I have to wash all of this off and go to work. But at least I got to do a video. Anyways, I'm so glad that I was able to bring this for you guys so you can see the comparisons to see how they look towards look, look against each other and how they play off on our beautiful chocolate skin tone. Believe me, if you don't have any of these bad boys in your life, go out and get at least one girl. Trust me, you will not be sorry. They are, are they are all very woman of color friendly. Every one of them, you can use them on any skin tone. I just love how universal these palettes are. They're amazing. And they're awesome for using for eyeshadow and stuff like that too, FYI. Anyway, uh, also, as I said, I did use her um, highlighter brush to do the swatches. But I actually am so in love with this brush. If you do get a chance, please go out and grab it. It's the best highlighter brush that I own. I don't even use any of my other ones too much because of it, the A23. It actually is a real hair brush. I'm assuming that this is goat and badger hair that's in here, but it is a real hair brush. And the way that it picks up the highlighter and just lays everything down is like nobody's business. You will not be sorry. So grab this if it's like a, it's on a little bit on the pricey side just for one brush but you won't be sorry grab it if you get the chance okay so we are all done i want to thank you so much for tuning in and taking the time to see what i thought about these uh, palettes i hope that it helped you in regards to which one of them you're going to go out and get if not all of them and um, in the future, you know, please put in the description box if there's something that you want to see me um, compare or swatch or do a look on. Please let me know. I will definitely do my best to get on that ASAP because I love playing around with my makeup collection. And when you guys give me suggestions, it just gives me more ideas to come up with uh, videos to show you guys. OK, so thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you have a blessed day. Until next time, stay blessed and beautiful. Gorgeous. Bye.